Hi, I'm David Griffith, editor of Police Magazine. We're here at National Police Week with Officer Dan Pedusis of the Knoxville, Tennessee Police Department. Officer Pedusis is the September 2010 uh, National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial Fund Officer of the Month. Officer Pedusis, tell us about your um, activities that led to your being honored with this Officer of the Month uh, award. Yes, sir. Um, we had a gentleman uh, who was 78 years old lived in Knoxville, who at, at some point uh, in June of 08 um, sustained injuries in a uh, what uh, uh, our major crimes unit uh, termed a uh, home invasion robbery. Uh, the, the robbery, uh, during the robbery, uh, the gentleman, uh, the victim, uh, sustained some injuries due to an assault uh, with the suspect who was a uh, female suspect. Uh, as a result of those injuries, uh, a few days later, uh, the victim passed away uh, in surgery. The Attorney General for Knox County ruled, uh, ruled his death a homicide. Uh, the major crimes investigator, Investigator Steve Steele, who was assigned the case, uh, had a little information, uh, had some photos that were uh, of very poor quality, but they showed two females using uh, the victim's card at a local retailer. Uh, that was all the information that Investigator Steele had at the time. Uh, upon speaking with uh, Investigator Steele, uh, he showed me the photos. Uh, you could tell very little. You could tell some clothing descriptions in the photos. Uh, about a week later, uh, while on a special assignment in plain clothes in an unmarked car, I spotted a female who appeared to have the same clothes on that were shown in the video. Uh, upon further investigation, uh, I contacted uh, Investigator Steele this lady, in turn, led us to the suspect, who was also her sister. Uh, this sister was charged uh, in the homicide case and successfully prosecuted. You say upon further investi investigation, what exactly did you do? Well, I, I believe that communications is, is, uh, is essential uh, between your criminal investigation division or your detective division and your patrol division. So many times, I think, I think a lot of people see it as, as separate units. But you have to have that communications, and the communications upon talking with Investigator Steele and him giving me any updates on further information, where the females might be, uh, where he first encountered the females, led me to go to that particular area. Um, so I have to say communications is, is the key uh, in, in this case. Now, were you tasked to be plain clothes looking for these women? Was that... Uh your job for that day? No, we were actually working some car burglaries, uh, and we ridden unmarked cars for that purpose. We had had a high number of car burglaries. Uh, however, it was in close to the same proximity where we believe that these females might frequent, uh, and that is uh, in the course of, of, of doing the car burglary special assignment. I, uh, that is when I noticed the female who appeared to have on the same clothes and, and fit the description that we're showing them. It sounds like this case became something of a passion for you, like you memorized the, the look of these women, you, you wanted to help close this case. Is that true? Yes, sir. And, and I think one of the things, and, and, and all cases are important, but I think the, the, the mere fact of the age uh, of the victim uh, being 78 years old had, had a lot to do with it. Okay. Thank you very much for your time, sir. Thank you, sir.